honored tea in the 17th century when Queen Elizabeth set up the East India Company to import fabulous exotic things like spices and tea, of course, um, other riches from the East. Uh, in fact, the East India Company had a monopoly on tea uh, imports until the late 19th century. Um, but it was actually this monopoly that sort of helped to glamorize and popularize tea. The uh, illegal import of tea was like a big you know, subject. So if you were drinking tea, it was very controversial in the early days. The process that's used to create the type of tea uh, establishes its classification. So process makes for type of tea. Um, oxidation that takes place in the pot as it's mixed with water uh, determines its color, its body, its flavor, which can be varied according to your taste. So, uh, one of the most common types of tea, black tea. These are the ones that you see around all the time. Orange Pico tea, Earl Grey, Lady Grey, English breakfast, afternoon tea, etc., etc. These all contain um, black tea. So black tea is the most processed type of tea. The tea leaves are <coughs> withered, rolled, sifted, and fermented. And it's this whole process that gives it its really hearty flavor and rich uh, color that you see in the tea. On the opposite end of that spectrum, you have green tea, uh, which is very minimally processed. Um, the leaves are fired shortly after they're harvested so that there actually is no fermentation. Um, and that's why it's sort of a lighter color, um, that sort of goldish uh, shade that you see in green tea and has a more mellow, delicate taste. Um, this is also true of white teas. <clears throat> and one of the main chemicals in teas are uh, polyphenols. Um, those are responsible for color and taste. Um, they also provide uh, the antioxidants that make tea drinking uh, often claimed to be a very healthy uh, activity to uh, engage in as opposed to, you know, drinking the ale. But, <laughs> not that we discourage ale, obviously. Um, next one. <laughs> um, and then other chemicals in tea are, you know, flavonoids, um, caffeine, which uh, the caffeine in teas tend to vary. Um, the more processed teas, the black teas, have more caffeine generally. Um, and also fluoride, which is something I did not know. Um, so tea is apparently good for your teeth. And we thank you for joining us at our tea party. To see you again soon. To George Orwell. To George Orwell.